Hi, this is a year and a half's worth of work on my toes. It was more than a year and a half ago, I noticed that I had toenail fungus, and I've been working hard trying everything to get rid of them, and trying uh, quite a few different products. And I'm about ready to declare success. If you take a look here at the base, you can kind of see how everything's starting to look normal. It's growing out normal, but you can see how bad uh, the rest is. You'll notice the, the the big toe and the toe next to it have the fungus, and the rest of the toes are fine. But uh, I think you can see a lot of thickening in the nails, a, a huge dent right here. There's a, a lot of crazy stuff going on. And the problem is, is when you have toenail fungus, your toenails grow very, very slowly. Not that they grow super fast otherwise. Let me show you all the steps I've taken, and who knows which ones were the best steps. But I've taken a lot of steps, and I'll show them to you, and perhaps this will help you combat your toenail fungus, because uh, I, I think I, uh, everything's looking much better now for the future. Now here's the heroes of our stories, and the hero number one is a good pair of sandals. Uh, the reason I feel I got the toenail fungus was due to wearing enclosed shoes all day and they get all hot and steamy. And these sandals uh, have a bit of ventilation, but you notice they still offer a full closed toe. And, you know, it's not like I'm uh, some hippie hanging around with my toes uh, sticking out there and everything. They uh, have all the benefits of shoes while providing a huge amount of benefit. And uh, I suggest Timberland brand sandals. These are super high quality. You spend a little bit more for the Timberland over some other ones, but they will last twice as long. And they're made out of nice high quality leather. And I've had these for a year and a half and you can see the soles uh, really stood up there. So like I say, the, the Timberland brand has really done well for me. So that's number one. Next up is Tolanaftate. Here are three Tolanaftate products that I've used. We got a uh, clear liquid that goes over the toenail and underneath the toenail the best you can. They call it Proclears. And then Proclears also makes a uh, nighttime fungicide. Now this is an interesting product. It's uh, a 1% tolanaftate. It's like a, it's like caulking is the best I can describe. It's like a white goo that solidifies and gets hard. So. You put it underneath your uh, toenails and around the edges of your toenails, and it stays there, and it stay, will stay for a day or two. It, 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 uh, you know, uh, with this other stuff, you put it on, you don't even know what's going on, you know, because your toenails look the same. But uh, you know, th this stuff, uh, you know, like it'll stick around for two or three, three days even, and uh, you know, it's, it seems to be a, a, a nice product. Next up is undeslenic acid. This is a 25% solution. There's a number of different brands. This is what you get at Walmart or the drugstore. Uh, it, it's uh, like I say, uh, let me see if I can zoom in here. Oops. Come on. Well, there, there we go. That's about the best the camera can do here without going fuzzy. Okay, there. So this is an interesting stuff because it, it, it's actually a pretty nasty stuff. It, it actually caused my toenail to lift. I put this stuff on the toenail and it would actually dissolve stuff and, and actually cause my toenail to lift up, which was actually kind of a good thing because then it allows the, the other stuff to work better because uh, uh, it opens up everything. It, it, it uh, takes all the skin that's stuck to your toenail around uh, the cuticle and around the sides underneath and then it lifts up and it allows me to use the other products. So this is something I would recommend maybe uh, two, two times a week, maybe three times a week in conjunction with these other products because uh, as your toenail lifts up, the other stuff can penetrate much, much further and get in there. And uh, that's why I've noticed about this. But like I say, it's pretty nasty stuff. Next up is clotrimidazole cream. This is uh, really cheap stuff. You, you get this this tube of stuff that says, you, you can either say jock itch or athlete's foot cream. It's all the same stuff. It's like 88 cents for a tube at Walmart. And here's my theory on this stuff. Like uh, I put it all over my foot everywhere, in, in, including my ankles, everything, just to make sure that I don't have any residual fungus in my skin. 
So for uh, the first month or two, I used this stuff all the time. After I used the other products, I would use this and then put my socks on when I go to work in the morning with the theory being that, uh, you know, uh, completely disinfecting the foot because uh, just because we're talk looking at the toes, it doesn't mean that there's not fungus in other places. I've read a lot of other people like to soak their feet in Listerine, which may do the same purpose as this. So uh, anyway, I... Um, who knows uh, what did did everything, but this is one of the products I used. Next up is Micronazole Nitrate. This is a spray, and I use this in conjunction with the with the other spray I showed you earlier, the Tolenophanate. So uh, the theory is, is okay, I bought brand new shoes when I had this. I got these sandals. I already showed you the sandals. I wear them almost every single day, but if there's any other time, I may need to wear a different shoe. I will spray the shoes heavily with both of these two products. And, uh, you know, all my old shoes, uh, of course, I got rid of a lot of my older shoes. But uh, any of the shoes I decided to keep for special occasions, I sprayed heavily with this. And every time I would ever think of putting on any of those shoes, I spray heavily with this just to make sure that I don't reinfect myself with the fungus. Okay, this is a new one. This is uh, one of these new super wonder drugs called Jub Jublia. And uh, you can try to pronounce the, the name of it yourself. It's a 10% solution. Now, I don't know what these things cost. I've read that it's like $500 for a treatment of this. Uh, um, my doctor claims that in 10 weeks the, uh, it will cure. Although the website, all the studies, they list 48 weeks. Now, it's nearly a year. But anyway, this is uh, some brand new stuff. And I've been using it every day. And I really like it because it's... Uh, uh, you know, it doesn't have any smell other than a little bit of alcohol when you first put it on. It dries clear, doesn't leave any stains. And I'm going to continue on. I've given up on all the rest of these things, and I'm now using this. Uh, uh, about a, a month ago, when I talked to my doctor, they cut uh, a bunch of pieces of my toenail. And they, they ran for cultures. And according to my doctor, there's no fungus in my toe. But uh, just as a precaution, I, I'm, I'm using this stuff. And I'm going to use this for a number of weeks here just to keep going, just to make sure. And uh, hopefully someday I'll have beautiful pink uh, toenails to show you. But uh, th there's certainly been some progress. I can tell that uh, all the nasty stuff is growing out. I'm starting to get some much better toenail growing in. And to me, that's uh, a lot of progress. And let me close up with some more photos of my hopefully cured toe. But like I say, I, I'm still using the Jubilee every day, and I'm probably going to continue to use that for a number of months more, just to make sure. But uh, you can see at the very base of the toenail that things are starting to return to normal, and hopefully in another year it'll be done. But uh, like I say, when you're battling this illness, be, be prepared to spend two and a half years before it's, you would consider completely gone. So... Uh, this is my one and a half year battle, and hopefully uh, you'll have results uh, at least as good as mine, if not better.